The EcoJECT system is a safe, efficient, and simple tool for systemically injecting trees with insecticide. The EcoJECT system is used for micro-injections of triazin systemic insecticide to manage specific pests of trees in forest, woodlot, urban, and residential landscapes. Thank you for choosing triazin and the EcoJECT system. This video will provide you with a basic understanding of how to use the EcoJECT system. Anyone operating the system must read and understand the EcoJECT system's user manual, including safety directions prior to use. The EcoJECT system is offered in different sized kits. It is important to choose the kit that best suits your operational needs. All EcoJECT system kits can be seen online at www.bioforest.ca. In this video, we will focus on the 3 liter EcoJECT system kit. The 3 liter EcoJECT system kit is designed for portability in the field and is suitable for small to medium treatment operations. Included with the 3 liter EcoJECT system kit is enough equipment to get you out into the field saving trees. Most components can be purchased separately for scaling up your operation as it grows. We will now go through the process of filling and pressurizing the 3 liter EcoJECT system with triazin systemic insecticide. Always consult the EcoJECT system user manual for proper safety instructions, personal protection requirements, and operating instructions. Fill the EcoJECT cylinder with triazin using the provided funnel, ensuring that you do not exceed the maximum cylinder volume. In this case, 3 liters. Hand tighten, then snug the EcoJECT manifold onto the EcoJECT cylinder. Use a 1 and 1 quarter inch wrench to thread the EcoJECT manifold approximately 1 eighth of a turn past hand tight. Turn all valves to the off position. Connect the loading hose to the product control valve. Pressurize the EcoJECT system by connecting your desired air source, in this case, an air compressor. It is important to ensure the air source you are using does not exceed a maximum output of 200 PSI. Slowly turn the air control valve to the on position and monitor the pressure on the internal pressure gauge. The optimal operating pressure is between 100 and 150 PSI. Once the system is pressurized between 100 and 150 PSI, the air source may be removed. First, close the air control valve, then disconnect the air source. Next, remove the air in the loading hose by pointing the loading gun tip into an empty triazin bottle and completely depressing the loading gun trigger. With the loading gun trigger depressed, Open the product control valve for two to three seconds before releasing the loading gun trigger. If no air bubbles are observed in the loading hose and no leaks are detected, the system is ready. To begin filling canisters, simply mate the canisters with the loading gun tip. Depress loading gun trigger and watch the canister fill with product. It is important to monitor the system's operating pressure while filling canisters. To ensure consistent canister volumes, the internal pressure must be between 100 and 150 PSI. It is important to release the loading gun trigger before removing the canister from the loading gun tip. When air bubbles are observed in the loading hose, the system must be refilled with triazin to continue loading canisters. It is important to never remove the EcoJECT manifold or its components while the system is under pressure. To depressurize the EcoJECT system, turn all valves to the off position. Slowly open the air control valve to allow air to escape. Once the pressure gauge reads zero, open the product control valve, hold the loading gun above the EcoJECT manifold, and depress trigger. Once all product has drained from the loading hose, close the product control valve and remove loading gun and loading hose. Remove the manifold using a 1 and 1 quarter inch wrench. Before removing the manifold from the cylinder entirely, open the product control valve and allow any remaining product in the product hose to drain. It is important to follow the cleaning instructions outlined in the user manual after each use. To determine dose, first measure the diameter of the tree at breast height. 
refer to the dose chart in the user manual to determine the recommended treatment dose rate. For this video, we will use a dose rate of 5 milliliters per centimeter of dBH. Once you have determined the dose rate, use the chart in the appendix of the user manual to determine total dose, number of canisters, and number of injection sites. Using a portable hand drill, position a 15 64th inch high helix drill bit on a slight downward angle and drill 3 quarters of an inch through the bark into the xylem tissue of the tree. The first injection site should be approximately 10 centimeters above the ground. Seat an ecoject nozzle into the injection site by pushing and turning down by hand on the outside edge of the nozzle. Mate a loaded canister to the nozzle and immediately check for leaks. If no leaks are detected, allow time for the pressurized canister to discharge into the injection site. If leaks are detected, gently tap the bottom of the canister with your hand to further seat the nozzle. Continue around the tree, spacing canisters approximately 15 centimeters apart in an upward spiral pattern, avoiding damaged areas of the tree. The final canister should be no more than 30 centimeters above the ground. Once all canisters have emptied, allow one to two minutes before removing the canisters from the nozzles. Remove nozzles from the tree and place in an ecoject cleaner bath. Seal the injection sites with grafting wax. You've now gone through the basics of how to use your ecoject system for tree micro injections. We hope that this video will help you to safely and efficiently use the ecoject system and Triasin systemic insecticide. For further information, please visit bioforest.ca.